Welcome back to Hannah Drinks Wine. Hannah Drinks Wine. Hannah Drinks Wine. Hannah Drinks Wine. That's so bad. Hi hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Hannah Drinks Wine. On this Wine Wednesday, drinking wine by myself. Today, I have a very important guest. It's my 2020 graduation wine glass. Yes, I did graduate college in 2020. No, I still don't have a job. So, cheers to that. Tonight we are trying the one and only, positively, Sauvignon Blanc. Sauvignon Blanc. Sauvignon Blanc. Sauvignon Blanc. This is kind of out of my, this isn't a usual pick for me. As you can see, it's chilled. It is now hot, kind of. Got a good evaporation going on. Condensation. I picked this one out simply because I liked the way the label looked. Sunny with a chance of flowers. How cute is that? Honestly. 85 calories, zero sugar. Anyways, it's also certified Monterey Sustainable. Whatever that means. I'm really excited for this one because I was tempted to go back with a red. As you know, I'm a red girl. It's just a red girl. This one is a little different than most. It might mean most, I mean the one video I've done before this. Why is it different? <gasps> it's a wine of little to no color. Some would say it's white. They may be right. I'm stepping out of my comfort zone this week. This wine may change my life. <gasps> I just really want you to know that it's 85 calories and zero sugar. Sunny with a chance of flowers. Doesn't quite have a story like 14 Hands does last week. But it's for those who revel in a full glass and a healthy pour. You get it? It's healthy. No sugar. Bruh. Positively Sauvignon Blanc. Yeah. Our wines are fresh, delicious, and have zero residual sugar. Moderation has never tasted so good. Good. Bottled and produced by Sunny Wine Co. in Greenfield, California. It says 2019. We love a good aged wine. Today, we did go with a little bit of a easier task of a twist off. Let's quit all this talking and just jump right into it. One of the best parts. Mmm. 2020 graduate. We are going a little classy this week and drinking out of the glass instead of just the bottle. First things first, we gotta smell it. It is a lot calmer, I would like to say, than the red wine. Definitely gonna be a little fruitier. Doesn't it overwhelm you with the alcohol taste? Ugh, stop teasing, I'll just get right into it. Wow, that is almost too easy to drink. Like, it doesn't burn, but just the slightest bit which scares me. Has like just the slightest taste of alcohol in a way, but like it is 9% by volume. It's fruity, but not too fruity. I can tell that there's not like that much sugar in it. It's not too sweet either. It's like a nice, just like bland line in a way, but it has a good fruity taste to it. Definitely can taste those grapes. I'm like almost shocked every time I smell it. Cause I'm like, I think that it's gonna burn my nostrils, but it doesn't at all. I think this is definitely good for someone that, you know, that may be like kind of new to wines or is scared of wines in a way. It's really easy to drink. Overall, I've got to say it gets five stars in the easy to drink category. I'm just truly amazed. Maybe I haven't drank enough white wines in my days. I know they're definitely don't hit as hard as red wines, but this is just a good sipper. I think this would be a great for a summer day, sitting out, you're at the country club, a slight summer breeze brushes through, moves your sun hat a little bit. That's where I am. That's exactly where I am. Wow, great summer drink. This may be the summer wine of choice, honestly. Sunny with a chance of flowers. You're just prancing out in the flower fields. That's what this feels like, truly. Hey, cheers to that. Overall, I think I will have to give this wine 6.2. And I really wanted to go higher. You know, I don't wanna jump. I don't wanna jump into that yet. I think this is well deserving score. Everyone should try it. Okay, my dad just came in here, drank the rest of my cup in one chug. He said it's nice, it'd be better if it was cold. And I was like, dad, it, it was cold. I have the fans on in here, this house is too hot. Cheers to that, here's another lovely Wine Wednesday. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, tell me which wine I should do next. If I should do something else, maybe not a wine.